So I've had a couple people ask me how I hooked up the throttle cable on this Chinese diesel engine. And it's a little different than a normal gas engine because with this one, the way that you turn this engine off, since it doesn't have spark, is by putting the throttle lever here all the way up on stop. And that cuts off the fuel and stops the engine. But if you want to put this on a go-kart or a mini bike or something where you can control the throttle without just setting it on a constant speed, which is what this is designed for. So you pick the speed that you want the engine to go at and you just tighten it down and it locks it at that RPM. But if you want it to, to be variable, then you have to hook up a throttle cable and figure out how you can keep it off of the stop position because otherwise this thing would never idle. You would have to keep your foot on the gas constantly just to keep it going. So what I did is it comes with this little factory throttle stop here and it has a hole in it already and has a little larger recess so your throttle cable outer sheath can lock up in there and then your cable can come through the little hole and the factory throttle lever here has some holes in it and I just ran the cable through that and put a throttle stop a throttle cable stop that I got from O'Reilly's on there and what I did was I made this just tight enough to keep it off of the stop position so I got as low as I can without it actually without the engine turning off so this will allow it to idle and not cut off but there's enough Ten, there's enough flex in the line that if I want to shut this thing off all I have to do is push it up and it'll turn it off so you ha also have to have the little red knob loose or your throttle won't return to idle when you want it to and you'll be stuck wide open so that was something I had a little bit of an issue with the throttle or the little knob just kept coming off under vibration and luckily I would find it each time but what I did was I took some tape and I took some electrical tape put it on the bolt and then threaded the knob on over that and that's enough friction to keep that knob from rotating off all the time and I found that I did need to just keep the knob on instead of taking it off completely because it does provide some rigidity to this little structure instead of it just being super loose so you got to keep it loose so that throttle can return. But that's all I do, and it's been working great for me since. Let's see this thing idle. <laughs> 